Okay, people, so since 2017, the Boruto Inception began, right? We got the manga, I believe we got the manga first, and then they announced the anime, or vice versa, I can't really remember, but either way, Boruto came out around 2017, and it's been a hell of a ride. Like, you go back even a couple years ago, 2019, Boruto anime was damn near universally despised. People just didn't, you know, they couldn't stand it. And to be honest with you, majority of the criticisms were 150% valid. The amount of filler or anime canon, whatever you want to call it, focusing in on all the teams that, for the most part, we know, especially if you read the manga and where things are going to go, that these characters would be irrelevant. Like, you know, Team 20 or whoever, you know what I'm saying? Like, these are characters that people just don't really particularly care for and aren't that central to the plot of where everything was going. So again, you look back the last couple years and you think like, God damn, especially 2019, where I want to say there might have only been one or two canonical pieces from the manga in the anime. Aside from that, it was just straight up anime original stuff. Not to mention, of course, a lot of people had gripes with the whole time travel, you know, Sasuke and Boruto going back in time arc. Although personally, I will say that's one of my personal favorites. I get all the valid criticism that goes against that arc, but I really just appreciate it and enjoy the fan service of seeing the older cast uh you know back in the day and things like that so i liked it but for the most part again boruto just genuinely hated and there was a lot of things about the boruto anime in general that you would be like well god damn but i gotta come here and tell you guys with this video in particular ever since i want to say it's about the deepa arc once the kara activation and deepa began I can 100% say, especially now up to the latest episode that just dropped a couple hours ago, episode 196 of Boruto Naruto Next Generations, that the Boruto anime not only has it improved immensely beyond words to say where we came from to where we're at right now, but also I would argue that the Boruto anime is starting to surpass the manga in terms of the experience, in terms of what we're doing right now. In general, I'm just having a, a better time now with the anime. And don't get me wrong, because for the longest time throughout pretty much the entirety of the run, the Boruto Boruto manga for me was just leaps and bounds better than the anime. Of course, for starters, it was focusing in on the characters that we actually care about. You know, the, the core of Team 7, but also Naruto, Sasuke. For people that really appreciated and enjoyed the older series, we got that with the manga. And the anime, again, none of that was really to be found, and it just felt like it was a lot of filler. Now, where we're at right now, again, ever since the Karo activation and Deepa, Kawaki being introduced, it's just a whole different ballgame. Like, it's been non-stop just whether it's even slice of life stuff and that's something that's very interesting right because there was a lot of slice of life episodes with the Boruto anime prior to this but there's something about it now that hits different and I think Kawaki has a lot to do with that like we've been in this arc for a little bit now of Kawaki being around the village you know Naruto has him in it's basically the Kawaki arc at this particular point and a lot of the things that are going on it feels that even though it's slice of life, it's character development. It's developing relationships and bonds where, and I've said this before, but I'll continue to repeat myself. Kawaki and Boruto's relationship, as we're seeing it even in the anime, feels way more authentic, the foundation of it and how they became friends than even Naruto and Sasuke. And I know that's blasphemous. I get it. A lot of you probably, Naruto was your first anime. So to hear that this spinoff Boruto that has been universally hated did something better than Naruto, it did. It, it's doing it right now. Now, the last few episodes, it's really dawned on me the difference in the Boruto anime over the last few years till now. All these little moments of seeing Naruto when he recollects on things. And between him teaching Kawaki lessons and being there for him and him being around the house, it's kind of interesting. And I could imagine if things were different and Boruto was the same kid he was in the beginning of the series, Boruto probably would have had a serious problem with Kawaki than he does right now. Because as it stands right now, his biggest gripe with Kawaki is you broke the vase and then you try to buy a new one instead of, you know, repairing the vase that he broke of Himawadis. If this was Boruto episode one, where he, you know, had this really big problem with Naruto that he's never home and things like that, I could have imagined Naruto staying home for Kawaki would have really gotten him upset and he would have done some dumb things that could have caused a big stir up in that Uzumaki household. So we're seeing even the character development that the series has brought forth up until this point of Boruto not throwing a tantrum with his father being there mainly for Kawaki and things like that. But just seeing Naruto around the house and 
again, constantly guiding Kawaki and the themes. Oh my God, that one particular theme that it's been around for a while, but it just always hits when Naruto reflects on the pain that he's been through. Man, every time he's going through a moment with Kawaki or Kawaki is thinking back to something traumatic, like I want to say it was 195, either 194 or 195, where Kawaki went to go get the vase and the vase dropped and he was having a flashback of Jigen doing horrible things to him and Naruto embracing him and giving him that hug. It's giving so many different lessons there, showcasing so many different metaphors and things like that of having a horrible parent and what a real parent is supposed to be like with Naruto, the way he's teaching Kawaki. I think that Kawaki coming to the series has been one of the biggest things to save it. I wish things would have been different and Kawaki would have been in a long time ago because we're just seeing the difference now. All of these episodes that even, again, feel like kind of slice of life and they're like half and half with some stuff from the manga, some stuff is like anime original-ish. They're doing an incredible job. They're doing an amazing job to the point where I'm like, I was kind of dreading getting to this point for a little bit now knowing that, you know, Studio Pero, they they might go off on a tangent with putting different episodes and things like that, but they've been actually handling this Kawaki arc of him being in the village and him, you know, being watched over by Naruto very well. They're using it to, you know, put him in different scenarios with Sarada and Mitsuki and them and him and Boruto's relationship and how it's slowly forming into a brotherhood. Like, they're doing a phenomenal job and I honestly came to say that the Boruto anime now is definitely watchable at the very least because that's always been one thing like is it at least watchable it is 100% watchable but also it's starting to become a better experience than the manga which I could not say two years ago I absolutely would have shunned myself FNAF World two years ago would probably be barfing and throwing up at the thought of saying this considering where the anime was at but yo it, it's just been great and you know next week is going to be even more fire when the episode Delta premieres it's going to be great because even when things get serious because like yeah we have the slice of life moments we're getting the values the lessons Boruto and Kawaki being together Kawaki and Naruto all of that jazz but then you have something really serious looming with Kara watching you got Kashin Koji invading the village while Delta overlooks things like it's still a very serious plot happening surrounding this slice of life element and I think that's something that the Boruto anime has needed it's like okay you're gonna do slice of life elements cool what about the major grandioso thing of like you know whether it's the whole thing of the old suit ski or a big major threat that is going to be central to the plot you need that you can't have one or the other you need character development and also a major threat or vice versa because it's still supposed to be a battle series this is boruto a spinoff of naruto one of the most famous battle manga of all time and yeah i had to get this off my chest i'll be honest with you i absolutely had to let people know that the boruto anime it's safe it's been safe if you haven't watched it in a really long time i highly recommend go back check out which episode in particular it is where the car activation with Deepa begins and you can pretty much watch damn near almost all the episodes from there up until where we're at right now with episode 196 because it's been a real hell of a treat the art the animation has improved it seems like Studio Pero they realized yo we need to actually put some love and care into this series and it took a long time don't get me wrong I don't blame anybody for having those preconceived notions about the Boruto anime considering it's been a rough road but Yo, Boruto fans, we're eating now. We're getting great quality content, and we deserve these episodes, and we're going to enjoy them. <laughs> I'm having a blast with it. I'm loving it. I'm loving the little moments of Kawaki learning lessons via Naruto's traumatic past, and, you know, seeing Kawaki's traumatic past in between it of Jigen. Like, yo, with the latest episode when Jigen kept hitting him with the rod and shit, I wanted to jump through my screen and grab Jigen by the neck, you sorry son of a... And yeah, I'm really curious, though, if you've been following the Boruto anime as of recent, what do you think about it? Do you feel like the Boruto anime at this point as an experience and in general is it surpassing the manga like right now every Sunday I am really rushing straight through like oh I gotta watch the latest episode of Boruto when the manga the last few months have been coming out and maybe that's due to the content that's being released I'm like okay I'm interested I'm still excited because I really enjoy what's going on but there's something about the anime now that they really stepped it up and I can't wait to see where things is going and how they're gonna adapt certain things because again Delta Delta baby Delta and your overall thoughts and expectations for the future of the Boruto to anime one last time people it's safe to watch the Boruto anime in fact it might even be preferred over the manga which a couple years ago that would be blasphemous to say but that's all i have for this one thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed if you liked anything i had to say or enjoyed the video drop me a like i'd greatly appreciate it and if you want more from me make sure to subscribe follow me on twitter instagram hit that bell to get all notifications and if you want to follow any of my other social media links are in the description below i'm for the world and as always people have an awesome day and remember the golden rule anime and manga for life please
Have an awesome day. Peace in. Big ups to the Boruto anime. Doing the damn thing. We've come a long way. Let's enjoy. <laughs>